Hi, I'm Steve Sapienza. I'm a freelance news and documentary producer. I'm currently in Bangladesh, and I'm here on a travel grant from the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting. And I'm looking at water, sanitation, and hygiene challenges here in Bangladesh, and in particular here in Dhaka. Bangladesh is considered one of the more densely populated countries on Earth. And here in the capital, Dhaka, it is a very crowded city. It's very noisy. It's very exciting, very vibrant. And it's also growing very quickly at a very fast rate. Many people are moving into the city, some 400,000 new residents every year from rural areas moving into the city. And a lot of them end up in, in slum areas, which you can see over my shoulder here in the background. And there's a lot of pressure put on this city in terms of the social, environmental, and health concerns. And already the city is facing a lot of challenges that, that mega cities face in developing countries all over the world. Uh, really, really bad traffic. They've got problems with uh, infrastructure in terms of, you know, their roads and uh, power. There are a lot of power outages here. Um, and the sanitation situation here is really severe. Almost two-thirds of the city has no access to the city sewer lines. So that means the sewage is removed from pit latrines, from septic tanks, and it's actually deposited here and there and left to really seep into the ground or the, uh, the water that you can see uh, exists all around Dhaka. And this poses a severe health hazard. Not only that, a lot of the water, uh, surface water, is that actually goes back into the water system here in Dhaka. It's treated, but it has the potential to uh, add more uh, disease and problems to the local water supply. So this reporting project will look at the water, sanitation, and hygiene issues here in Dhaka and around Bangladesh. And it will really focus in on a lot of uh, simple, safe solutions that are happening here uh, to really change people's lives. These are solutions that can happen at very low cost, but have huge impacts on the everyday lives of urban poor and the overall health of the city in general. Reporting from Bangladesh is a challenge. Um, there are many different types of ways that uh, make it difficult to get a story done here. Um, I can speak directly to problems here in Dhaka. Um, first of all, it's very, very crowd crowded, this being one of the most densely populated countries on Earth. Um, there are insane traffic jams, traffic jams like I've never seen before. Sometimes just a simple trip across town could take three to four hours. And when you're on a tight schedule, uh, that can really, really mess up your day. Um, another issue is noise. There's always a lot of noise going on. So if you're trying to get uh, you know, a good interview or, or a good sound for video, or perhaps if you're a radio reporter for radio reporting, there's just an enormous amount of noise all the time, everywhere you go. Uh, another thing that is problematic a lot of times is, uh, has to do with the crowds again, number of people. Sometimes we'll, we'll set up a camera and a lot of people will crowd around, including they'll walk right into the shot or they'll just come walk right up and just stare right into the camera. And, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty funny when it happens, but it slows, slows down your progress uh, in what you're trying to get done. Uh, there are also a lot of power blackouts, so you have to make sure that you have a good source of energy to power up your, your lights and your, uh, your camera batteries. Uh, that's another challenge. And I think maybe one last challenge uh, that happens at this particular time of year, which is Ramadan, you often have to uh, work around the different prayer times during the day and um, also take breaks for the different for the iftar in the evening when they break fast. So you have to respect the local culture and you have to work uh, within uh, the uh, scheduled time uh, that this, this country is running on during Ramadan. So this is my third trip to Bangladesh and my impressions of Bangladesh have changed uh, since I first came here. Um, you know, ov my overall impression is that this is a country facing so many, many, many uh, difficult challenges. I mean, you've got extreme pro poverty, uh, you have climate change issues that are impacting this country, uh, you, have, um, you have disease, uh, there's corruption, there's a lot of really, really heavy problems that are impacting Bangladesh. Um, but I'm, I've, my, I've been really impressed with um, how this country and its people um, take on these challenges. 
Um, I, unfortunately, many, many years ago, this country was tagged as an international basket case. And um, it's still a very, very young, growing democratic country. And uh, you feel that there are a lot of people here very, who are trying very hard to, to make things, and succeeding uh, in, in making uh, strides towards improving their country. And uh, that is what I've seen here. And I think uh, you know, the overall impression I'll have coming away from this story is that there are a lot of dedicated, hardworking people who are finding very simple, safe, uh, effective uh, solutions to water and sanitation problems here in Bangladesh that are going to help this country move forward and also could be exported to the rest of the world and help other countries uh, uh, with their sanitation and water access uh, issues.